So last time I was in this parking lot, I blew a rad hose. So I always love being on the island. It brings back good memories, even if it was eventful times, but I'm on my way up island to Nanaimo to catch the ferry to Horseshoe Bay. Instead of driving through the lower mainland, um, I decided to drive up island. I need to stop in Nanaimo to get some snacks. <laughs> I would really like some chips, but I stopped in Shimanis on my way out. My friend owns a store there um, called Beyond the Usual. My friend Chris, so it was really nice to see him. And I got this hat. Oh, this is where I carried Frank onto the ferry at this bay when I first got him. He was too scared to walk on the deck and I had to carry him onto the boat. All right, get in the back, bud. We're gonna go have din -dins and hide out. So it's like uh, 2 a.m. and I've just been watching the lunar eclipse. I'm in my sleeping bag um, on a mat in a parking lot. It's been pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's getting brighter now. The moon's getting brighter, so. Um, but it was so red for a while, and so many stars. I saw tons of shooting stars, so. Yeah. Um, I'm really tired. I keep, like, kind of falling asleep. Um, but I'm gonna just stay out here as long as I can. And then when I wake up, I'll go back inside. It's icy. I don't know what you're so excited for. We're going to the vet. We're going to the vet, Frank. You're gonna go see your doctor. Do you want to come outside, bud? Come enjoy the sunshine. Yeah. Are you so happy to be back in Squamish, Frank? Yeah, are we going to see some friends? Going to have a good time? Well, good day. It is... Actually, it's 1.11 and I'm just getting coffee. Mm. It's been a hectic morning. I woke up on the ground outside sometime just after 4 and got into bed. <laughs> Um, and luckily had the sense to set some alarms. So I got up for Frank's appointment. Before I could leave, they called me to say they couldn't do the blood work that needs to be done for his ultrasound because Purelater won't pick it up because of all this flooding that's going on. So I said, okay, well, he needs his sutures out and his arthritis meds, so I'm going to come in anyways. So we went in. And they wouldn't take him to do his sutures because he was too wired and I hadn't given him his sedatives, which I didn't know were required before the appointment. So that was really unfortunate. He, I got him his arthritis meds that I'll give to him later today. So then while I was in town, I went to the library, uploaded an episode, got that ready to come out later today. And then I drove out here <laughs> to enjoy the sun. And it's so nice. I'm so thankful for a sunny day today. Um, yeah, it's really good. It feels really good to be back here. I'm going to be around here for quite a while now, actually. I don't know how long, but at least a month, maybe more. 
I don't know, but it just feels really good to be somewhere familiar, somewhere that I enjoy in all weather, and to have friends here that care about me, that will talk to me about things, and um, will have like a response to like help me work through feelings or hard times or celebrate good times, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it feels really good to have the support of my friend group here. And yeah, I'm just going to just chill. We're just gonna relax and we're gonna have a nice time. I'm gonna drink this coffee and then I'm gonna make myself some food. Um, and I'm just gonna do it feeling extra fancy for my new hat, so. <laughs> The clouds came and the sun's about to dip like behind the mountain and it's so cold all of a sudden. I'm not surprised because it was really icy this morning so I had to put on my toque and a warmer jacket and I bundled Frank up. Hey bud. Is this for real? on my way into town here. This is like the nicest afternoon. I needed that so bad. It's supposed to rain for weeks, so I'm really glad I prioritized enjoying the sunny weather, but um, I'm gonna meet up with a friend uh, to do like dinner and a movie and just have like a nice cozy night together and just chill and unwind. frozen. We went uh, back to the vet today and the doctor decided that Frank's sutures could not come out. So we're going to be going back in a few days, aren't we, bud? Yeah. But it's been great. Uh, really lucky to have a dry day today. So Frank got to go for a walk and then he had a nice nap because he's pretty tired out. He was sedated before going to the vet. And then I went for a walk without him. So, yeah. <laughs>
He's like to the left of Upper Black Dyke, moving towards Upper Black Dyke. Oh. Yeah? Yep. <clears throat> right in the middle of the town. Let's go. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, bud. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. It is afternoon. Yeah, we've just been this enjoying being warm and cozy in bed. It's chilly on my like nose and fingers if they're out of the blankies, but um, we don't have heat still because the battery got too low and it's not taking a charge. So I have to deal with that. It just hasn't been a priority. Um, it's like right around freezing. I think it's just a little bit above freezing. It was maybe like minus three when I got here last night, but it was clear. And then I actually stayed up really, really late to like 5 a.m. outside hanging out, <laughs> enjoying the moon and the stars and the mountains glowing from the moon, watching the clouds come in and form. And then once it clouded over, I came to bed. So that's probably why it's a bit warmer today. But yeah, I think I'm ready to get up, make some coffee, get my day going. We have a lot to do this week. <laughs> I didn't quite make it to town. Um, not surprised by this. I'm really not surprised by this, but um, my brakes seem to have gone. Like I have a bit of brake, but they're really soft and the like, not the check engine, but the like danger symbol is on. So I'm gonna look into that. Yeah. Not like super stoked on it, but. I know it'll be a relatively easy fix and even if the whole brake system had to be overhauled it won't be as expensive as a lot of the things I've done lately so yeah I'm just gonna yeah deal with that I guess I don't know <laughs> just, yeah I have a little bit of brakes I just don't want to go into town because people will drive fast and maneuver quickly it's really sketchy and all right, so <laughs> yeah, I definitely have lost some brake fluid. Um, I really don't feel like crawling around in the mud, trying to figure out where it's coming from. I don't know why, but they're very squishy. The danger symbol is on the dash. Um, I like I have some brakes. They're just extremely inefficient and I don't really feel like driving in town or traffic or anything like that. So I'm just parked um, in a parking lot at the end of the dirt road here and I have megabytes of data left. I am almost out of data. So I'm using the last of my data to process some sticker sales. It's just been a wild ride lately. So I'm hoping the shop will squeeze me in tomorrow because I need to get to the city the next day. Yeah, so that's a thing. But I don't know. I'm just trying not to stress out about it. Just doing what I can, enjoying my coffee. I'm really glad I had a slow morning today and I know it's gonna be fixed and I know if I really need to, I can borrow a car tomorrow to get to the city. It just means I won't be able to take truck down to get work on him done, but. That is life, right? You just take it as it comes, do the best you can. And at least now, if I need to pay another mechanic bill, which I probably will, um, I'm not totally stressed about whether or not that means I get to eat or not. So thank you for that. It's so cold. Um, it's like 4 a.m. It's so cold out. <laughs> it's not even freezing. I just feel so cold. Um, it's about as quiet as the roads get around here, so I'm about to drive slowly on my really squishy brakes across town to the mechanic shop so I can bug them tomorrow to help deal with this, even though they're full. Because that's van life. Oh, we're here, and that's the van that had crashed into me the other day, like two weeks ago, and it's still here. 
I'm editing a video. <laughs> I'm outside the mechanic shop. I was working on editing a video of last time we were outside the mechanic shop. Um, I'm a couple spaces forward down the road now, but same mechanic shop, different issue. <sighs> but at least I have power, thanks to my friend who charged me up on the weekend. So I have lots of power, so I can just work, drink my coffee, <laughs> and eventually I'll end up on the hoist. So it's now like after 3.30. I'm still waiting outside the mechanic. <sighs> yeah. My video is almost finished uploading, so that's great. Got some work done today, but I'm getting really cold. I just feel like if I get into bed, they'll be like, okay, it's time to work on your van. I have breaks again. The danger symbol is off and I got myself some samosas from Beezla's here in Squamish, which is amazing. So if you're ever in Squamish, I highly recommend going by Beezla's, but I did not eat all day. I'm so hungry. Um, I'm gonna go spend the night with my friend. So I'm just eating before I go over. <laughs> mm. 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 So when I was at the shop yesterday, they couldn't find an obvious leak for the brake. So we kind of just figured that there must have been an air pocket when they replaced the line. And I hadn't driven a lot, so we figured it kind of just worked its way through. So they topped me up on brake fluid, re them, and everything seemed fine. Uh, but today they got soft again. So I pulled over here in town. I was going to do some chores. I had to pick up envelope stiffeners and envelopes so I can get Frank working and send out some more stickers, um, which is awesome to be busy doing that. But uh, I looked under the van and there was just like brake fluid dripping out of like the rear drum. So I called up the shop <laughs> and he's getting the part for me. I forget what he said it was. I'll have to tell you later, but he right away was like, oh, it's this thing. Um, and so yeah, I'll go back there today. He said no rush, but which is really nice to be in the good books of a local shop because otherwise they're full for like a week. <laughs> so yeah, really nice that they're gonna fit me in. Yeah. All right, so I'm just headed across town now. Um, I did a bunch downtown while I was there uh, just to like look after things. Very excitedly sent off my stuff to the US IRS. So hopefully within two to three months, I'll be able to get paid from YouTube. Um, and then I just went to Napa and they exchanged no problem, no hassle, the marine battery I had got for my heater. And now I'm just very nervously <laughs> making my way across town, back to Carson's Automotive, my good old trusty local mechanic. All right, so I installed a new battery. The heater is on, it is making heat, and it appears to be charging from the alternator. And yeah, so now I'm just outside the shop waiting for them to have my turn. So I think it should be happening today. <sighs> And I'm really excited because if the brakes get done today, then I can drive my van around a little bit and I can charge things and I can have heat. And I've canceled all my appointments in the city. <laughs> so I still need to go back to the engineering builder to get this thing tuned up and just the kinks with the whatever's going on sorted out. Um, um, I'm just being tidying while I wait for the mechanic. Um, and I'm super lucky that they keep 
taking me in on last minute notice when they're booked for a week or two at a time in advance. So I'm pretty lucky to have this connection here and this history with them and to get this special treatment, which is what it is. I get special treatment. So yeah, I'm definitely grateful for that. So yeah, I'm just going to keep tidying up, maybe have a little snooze and then linger around while I work on my van. <laughs> um, so I got my van fixed, which was awesome. I got a really good deal on it, um, which is very lucky these days to get a great deal on getting work done in a shop. That's why I go to this shop. I have a long relationship with them. Um, and then while they were doing the, I forget what it's called, but it's like a little thing inside the rear brake drum there's like a big hunk of metal that comes off um and then in it it has like a seal and it basically like moves the brake fluid or whatever anyways it was leaking on one side so i had both replaced because i i feel like when you do brake work you should do the same to both sides so it's even and then everything's the same age and then if there's imbalances you'll learn from that um but while they were in there <laughs> while they were in there mm, they noticed the axle seal is leaking a bit so that's something i'm going to take care of in the future not an emergency situation i want to take care of it before it causes issues so i'll schedule like a regular appointment and not like a hey i need help um today type of situation um so yeah that was awesome and then i went and hung out with my friend and we watched the second half of the first hobbit movie we'd started a couple nights ago um and now i'm at walmart <laughs> I plan to have a big day in town tomorrow, like taking care of chores and editing and that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm staying at Walmart. I don't feel like driving down a dirt road. And also like um, my van has to earn my trust back. So we're going to be keeping it pretty close to town in the short drives and just getting to know each other again. But I made this amazing salad. I'm so excited about it. That's going to be it for this video. Um, it took place over about a week and yeah, it was quite the eventful time. There was a lot more going on than I was able to share, but I will update you on a bunch of things soon. In the next video, I have quite the surprise, I guess. So hopefully you'll be as stoked about that as I am. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I really appreciate you watching and I got a cute clip of Frank to send you off on your way. But before I do that, I just wanna say a huge thank you to everyone who reached out with support um, after I shared the videos about just everything that went wrong in my van. So that made a huge difference in my life and I really appreciate that. So thank you. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> You're so cute.